Next stop on the FedEx Nationwide Series brings us to Iowa Speedway for the running of the Iowa John Deere Dealers 250. <clears throat> and on the pole for the race today's race is Mitchell Jones on the pole and alongside of him Dylan Young. And we'll give you the command to fire the engines up. Drivers, start your engines. Man, giving the fire the engines. Row two, it's Ed Gardner, number 87. <clears throat> and Demarcus Brown, a 66 car. Row three has Jeffrey Fingai in the 32. And the 13 car, the car he calls Jenny Joe, Joshua Collard. Row four has Tim Gardner and Bob Fergus. Row five has... Derek Henderson and Eric Matthews. Pace car now is off of turn number four and on the pit road. And the green flag waves, and here we go at Iowa Speedway. 38 laps around this racetrack here on this truck on this. Jeffrey Fang got makes it three wide inside of Ed Gardner and and um, Dylan Young as they go down the third turn now. And oh, four wide. Can't do that on a short track. And Tim Gardner in the 15 car goes inside of Jeffrey Fingai. And it's the six, it's zero 09 of Mitchell Jones leading the first lap of the race. As we watch this eye of the storm right there, Samuel Mills inside of Joshua Collard. Those guys up on the high side, they ain't going nowhere as they come down to turn four. Now Sammy Mills again is inside of the 27 of Tim Waycross and the 11 of Derek Henderson. And oh, come out turn over. Whoa! The 16 and Jared, Jared Stone goes in the inside of 16. Oh, goes up the track. And here we go. Natalie Hernandez has crashed. So is Scar Harris, Jared Stone. Jeffrey Fingai's in it. Ricky Falcon's in it. And boy, Ricky Falcon and Natalie Hernandez both got the worst end of that deal. So did Jeffrey Fingai in the 32. And Jared Stone is shoved to the inside by David Burton. As they came out of corner number four. And I say Jared Stone's uh, gonna have some words with Eric. I say Jared Stone's gonna have some words with for, with David Burton on this deal. Let's look at what happened on the replay. Burton goes inside of uh, hits Jared Stone. And he's all over that back bumper. There's what I was talking about. He's gonna. He's yeah. Jared Stone's definitely gonna have some words with David Burton on this deal because he just shoved Stone up in the inside. He looks like he's gonna go back up on John Waycross and Joshua Collard, and. There's where the deal happens right there. The 40 and the, and the 2 of Dylan Young both got crushed. There's where Natalie, Young, Natalie Hernandez got the hit. She hit the 40 car very hard. Scholar Harris just turned her around, and then Jared Stone gets, gives her a little kiss on the bumper, too. Let's go for a ride with Jared Stone on this deal. Let's go on board. He Here, like I said... Four wide on short track, you can't do that. And here's what here's the onboard camera. <sighs> Not a good deal there for Jared Stone. On board with Natalie Hernandez in the 36. And now from Ricky Falcon's car, car number 40. He is behind Joshua Collard in the 13.
And finally, from the 32, a Jeffrey Finn guy. It's following the two of Dylan Young and Bob Ferguson, the 34. And then, yeah, just out of nowhere. I think his car farted. But nonetheless, Jeffrey Finn guy still in the race. So set the field up for you as the blade, the, yeah, the pace cars lights are off, so we're going to go green flag this time by on lap number nine. It is Mitchell Jones' leader, second is Tim Gardner, Samuel Mills is third, Eric Burton fourth, Nicholas Carrera fifth, sixth is Tim Waycross, seventh is his brother John Waycross, Dale Keselowski is eighth, Joshua Collar ninth, and tenth is Derek Henderson. Dodge Charger pace car off on the pit road. The green fag waves, and here we go again at Iowa Speedway. And again, Mitchell Jones gets another good start. Tim Gardner in the 15 car has been doing pretty well this season. Sammy Mills, and boy, he's got a strong horse in that number 31 car. He and Eric Burton get a little shove down. The... Nope, Eric Burton's going to go inside and make a three wide on turn number three. And the way cross butters, Tim in the 27 and John in the 1, doing a little short track hookup as they try to as they try to bring their Chevrolets up to the front of the pack. Off in the turn number one, they come here. And riding along with Dale Keselowski, that back member, you're looking right at Jenny Joe, Joshua Collard. Going by the 60 car of Nicholas Guerrero and the one of John Waycross. Whoa! Digger Cam. Keselowski trading paint a little bit with Samuel Mills in the 31. And Keselowski in the 12 car. Now he's got an advancement pressure from Jenny Joe, Joshua Collard. Collard up to the fourth position. Now he's going to try for third. This car usually pretty good on short tracks, by the way. And now Collard gets his sight set on the 27 of Tim Waycross, driving a Castrol GTX 27 for Bruco Motorsports. Runs second right now to Mitchell Jones, who's led from the pole position so far. Jared Stone a little damaged up on the 62 car. He's running off the pace a little bit. And Mitchell Jones is about to catch him all the while. Joshua Collard sticks Jenny Joe to the inside of Tim Waycross. And Collard now goes into second. He's got the, about the fastest, one of the fastest cars on the racetrack right now. And now he's got Mitchell Jones in his crosshairs. And whoa! Waycross and Henderson get a little cozy coming down the back stretch. Approaching halfway here at Iowa, 15 of 38 laps in the books. Things have settled down just a little bit here since the yellow flag. But it's been Mitchell Jones from start to finish, but he better not look right now because Jenny Joe is coming after him. Joshua Collard, whose who's first short track race of the season ended up with a second place result at Bristol. Finishing second that day to the 16 of David Burton. Cole Daly in the 38 is going to make his move. He's got Samuel Mills. Whoa, Mills and Daly getting a little tangled up there. And they're making a three wide between them and Nicholas Guerrero in the 60. And it's going to be Sam Young taking the top, taking the spot away. But right now, this is the battle for the front. is shaping up to be a good one. Mitchell Jones, car 09. That's the Kenny Wallace car he's driving. The Family Farmers Toyota. That time by, Jones was 147.992, Collard at 148.34. So Collard is a little bit faster. 
And here he's proving it. He's going inside now with Mitchell Jones. Halfway this time by. 19 down, 19 to go here at Iowa Speedway. Jones goes up the high side. Here comes Collard. The car he calls Jenny Joe goes to the inside. And it's going to be Joshua Collard to the lead. Coming in the third and fourth turns now. And boy, what a, what mus what muscle this car has got right now. Now he's going to just maybe pull away, but I don't know. Mitchell Jones has got something to say about that. But it is Joshua Collard out in front, car number 13. And I tell you what, the crew for Jennifer Joe Cobb Racing, they've, been, they got, they've got a heck of a short track setup, as I said, under that Mustang. He's won twice that car so far, and he's won twice that car so far, both in season two. He won Richmond and at Watkins Glen. Of course, Richmond being a similar track to Iowa Speedway. But a lot can happen in the final 16 laps of this event. Here, so we're not quite done yet here at Iowa Speedway. Samuel Mills riding in fourth position. Fifth is now David Burton. In car 16 as we look from the copter cam. Ed Gardner inside of Jim or John Way crossing. He's gonna bring Tim Gardner in the 15 with him. Ed in the 87, Tim in the 15. Toyota versus Ford, and another Ford right behind Gardner. That's Nicholas Carrera in the 60, who's right up there in the points chase. Good start so far to the season for Nicholas Carrera and his brother Jerry, as a matter of fact, too. Cole Daly in the 38 runs in the 10th position. He's running out the top 10. Ryan Acosta in the 14 for Eric, driving for Eric McClure. And he's got a mirror full of that 30 of Sam Young. Moore to the inside of Charles Jackson, and he's going to bring Adrian Becker to 43 with him. Adrian sticks the nose to the inside, and you're on board with Adrian Becker in car 43. Following the 12 of Dale Keselowski, and Tim Gardner is shoved up high. Becker's 13th right now. Back up front though, Mitchell Jones takes the number one spot back away from Joshua Collard. He's gonna bring Tim Waycross. No, Tim Waycross goes inside of the 09. And Tim Waycross back to the lead. 11 laps to go. But even though lost to losing the lead, Joshua Collard's still close. I tell you what, we've seen this little movie right there before between Mitchell and Joshua a little earlier in her race, just a few laps ago, and they're still going at it. Collard's car seems to work well on the inside. We'll see what happens. And they better do something quick before Tim Way crossing the 27 gets too far out ahead to where they can't battle for the win. And Collard does so. Nine laps to go here at Iowa Speedway. Jones rides third. David Burton in the 16 oh, he gets he joins in on the battle too. He's in fourth. And Samuel Mills in the 31 runs fifth. Ed Gardner in the 87 goes by Nicholas Guerrera, and so does John Waycross in the one. We'll check the lap speed this time by see who's the faster of the front two cars. Way across in the 27, he'll come across the start finish line at 145.322. Joshua Collard at 145.081. So Way Cross is a little bit faster in that clean air. He's got work into his advantage right now. And keep in mind, though, Bruco Motorsports has never won in, in the FedEx Nationwide Series before. Waycross hoping that, hoping to change that in the final six laps. So
Speeds are, however, a little bit even right now, so Waycross may be in good shape. Check it again this time by 144.748 to 144.549. So Jenny Joe not really compatible with the speed of that that um, Waycross is running right now. Four laps to go for Tim Waycross, car 27. And that, is, that is a 2011 Chevrolet he's driving, but the paint scheme dates back to 1999 when, Case, when a guy by the name of Casey Atwood drove that car for Bruco Motorsports to two victories. As a matter of fact, that year at Milwaukee and Dover. And that car seems, and that car is maybe on it, and that car is two, three laps away from a possible victory here at Iowa Speedway. Joshua Collard still trying to close right in, but I don't know if he's got any time. Coming down to two laps to go for Tim Waycross, car 27. This time by the white flag waves. One lap remaining for Tim Waycross. Speeds are still even between the top two cars. The white flag waves for car 27. One lap remaining in the race. And coming out of turn number two, the team of Bruco Motorsports and the Waycross brothers, Tim and John, root new to the series this season, and they already get a win. Out of turn number four, Tim Waycross wins the Iowa John Deere Dealers 250 here at Iowa Speedway. The first win for Bruco Motorsports and the Castro GTX team, number 27, Joshua Collard, a hard-fought second-place run. Good run for the good run for the car he calls Jenny Joe. That's two second place runs on the short track this season, by the way, for that car. Mitchell Jones from the pole to third, and I'm sure he's disappointed because he had that one of the dominant cars all day. Just didn't go his way. Average speed, 123.65.691. And it's Tim Waycross winning the race here today at Iowa Speedway. Joshua Collard second. Third, Mitchell Jones. Fourth, Samuel Mills. Fifth, to David Burton. John Waycross, Nicholas Carrera, Ed Gardner, Adrian Becker, and Cole Daly, the top ten. Then Cole Moore, Derek Henderson, Charles Jackson, Logan Wilson, Seth Cole, Tim, Dale Keselowski, Tim Gardner, Joseph Bryant, Eric Burton, and Dylan Hughes, the top 20 in today's event. And here's the rest of the finishing order here. Uh, Natalie Hernandez and Ricky Falcon, the only two out of the race in 35th and 36th. And Jared Stone, one lap down. And so, look to see where you come in the race here today. Big win for... Here, big win for car number 27. It's Tim Waycross taking the victory here today. And here's your points as they are right now. David Burton has a two-point lead on Tim Waycross in the points chase. After seven of 36 races, Nicholas Guerrero, Skylar Harris, and Lisa Shears, the top 10, or top five, excuse me, in the points. Then Jerry Guerrero, Logan Wilson, Eric Burton, Seth Cole, and Cole Daly, the top 10. Dion Scott down in 20th position in the points. And Jared Stone there brings up the caboose in 36th. So next race of the FX Nationwide Series Tour, we go from the short track to the super speedway, Talladega, for the Aaron's 312. Don't miss it.